Well, hey again, everyone. This is Bob from Hot Rock Central, and in today's video, I'm getting started on putting up an A-frame uh, solar panel mount so that I can take advantage of uh, the only part of my property during the late afternoon that, that gets sunshine, where at that time of the day, the rest of my solar panels are pretty much in the shade. So uh, I'm putting this up here to grab a, squeeze out a few more, few more watts here from the sun before the sun goes down. So anyways, uh, uh, I'm going to have nine panels up there, and it's going to be nearly about 3,000 watts. And uh, uh, I've already got started here. I've got my holes dug. And since there's going to be three panels, there's going to be four joints, four joints in the solar panels, because I'm going to have have uh, the solar panels run lengthwise across the top, and then the, the narrow, the narrow uh, part of it, is going to be underneath each other. So, anyways, that's a 16 foot long section there. And uh, to keep this thing from pulling out of the ground during a strong storm, what I'm going to do is I'm taking uh, taking my leg here. This is a mock up of a leg, and I'm going to be screwing a board to the bottom of it just like this, so that once it's covered up with dirt and then the, the roots start growing in from the growth and stuff like that, uh, it should hold it in there pretty good. Plus, I've got it down about about a foot and a half deep. I've got pretty loose soil here, so I want a uh, decent depth. If you've got uh, uh, soil that's even looser than that, with no vegetation on it at all, to uh, lock up the soil, then you might want to go a little bit deeper. So anyways, uh, this thing is going to be going up in the air, right against that tree there, up about 16 feet high. And uh, uh, there, by the time I get all the solar panels up there, there's probably only going to be about four or five foot left between the ground and the last solar panel uh, above the ground. So, and then the other thing is, is, uh, uh, is when you get your lumber to do something like this, if that's what you're going to do, always pull out the, the heaviest, beefiest lumber you can. Now, you've probably noticed uh, when you go into a lumber store and you get some treated wood, some of those boards can be light as a feather and others can be like heavy as hell. Well, the heavier the board is, you're going to get, that means it's going to be the denser the wood is, and the longer that wood's going to last. So you always want to get the heaviest boards you can for something like this. And uh, I expect something like this will probably last 10 years, maybe 15 years. And, and uh, uh, as old as I am, it'll probably last longer than I will. So uh, that should be good enough for me. So anyways, uh, 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 that's all I've got for this segment here. As soon as I get some lumber here and get started, we'll... Uh, I'll get on to the next part of it, and I'll see you then. All right, this here will be a short little segment. Uh, I've got my uh, I've got my combined uh, two eight foot uh, uh, two by fours in the ground, and just just to get uh, those poles leveled there, what you do is uh, right at the eight foot mark, you just uh, take a string and tie it all the way across to the other one, and dig your holes uh, until your till your line gets level, and then. As you'll see here, there's the eight-foot mark up there. This one's got to go down more, and same thing. Uh, same thing on this one here. This this one's got to come down some more. So that's how you get your holes uh, dug so so the poles are level, so they're they're sticking up the same height all the way across. All right, that's uh, that's all I got for this part, and uh, I'll, I'll see you in the next section. Well, there you go, gang. It's all done. I didn't. Uh, I got too involved with what I was doing there to stop and take a break and do some camera work. So, I just went ahead and got the thing done. And what I'll do is I'll just take you through some of the finer points of how this thing was put together, so you can see see how it was all done. Now, the reason I've got these panels sitting at a very high angle is is because this is the only part of my property where the the last bit of sunshine hits. And I've got uh, 69 other panels sitting over there uh, that give me plenty of uh, power during the afternoon, so I don't need anything anything like that, even over here. So what I want to do is I want to maximize what power I'm picking up at the end of the day, and that's what that's there for. Because uh, by the time the sun gets over there by those trees there, most of those panels that you see over there, just about all of them are shaded. They're pretty much shaded, and I'm not getting very much power at all. So that's the reason for uh, this this get up here, and my protractor says this is set up at 85 degrees, 
And how I got this thing put together was uh, what I did is I measured uh, the length of three panels on top of each other and made a mark there. And I ran my two by four, my two by four straight across, sat my, uh, sat my panels up, secured my panels, and then got up my uh, uh, second row of panels, which uh, was a little more difficult. Uh, but now the third panel was a motherfucker. And those things that was just about tore my ass up getting those suckers up there. What I ended up having to do was I had to build some stilts with a cross brace and push the panel up on top of that stilt so the lip was just a little bit higher than the second panel there. And then I had to take my ladder, which was, uh, which was jerry-rigged to be taller than what it was originally, uh, using two-by-fours, screwed to the legs. And it was just tall enough where... I could yank up that panel and I had to lift it up as high as I could over my head just to get that thing to come up and rest on the, on the ledge of the, uh, that second row of panels there. So that was a real pain in the ass and I was lucky I didn't break my neck on it. But uh, that just shows you uh, what a solar nut will do to get solar power. Uh, so anyways, uh, I did all that before I did the cross bracing and uh, once I had all the panels up, you could push on this 2x4 here, and this thing would just wobble all over the place. It was not very secure at all. So uh, what I did was uh, I added some cross braces here, as you see. Uh, I've got it bolted down to the, the lowest part of the, the stilt there. And that's in the ground, so that's sure not going to move anywhere. And it's attached to near about the center of the, uh, of, of the array there. So uh, that's, that's, keeping, that's keeping this whole thing pretty sturdy, as you can see. I can push on this thing and it just it from front to back it ain't going nowhere it's solid as a rock now what I did is I took uh, two eight foot two by fours and I scabbed them together with a 32 inch two by four and I got plenty of screws and I got a screw there a screw there two screws there two there another one there another one there so this thing isn't going to go anywhere it's pretty solid <coughs> now uh uh, all, all in all, the, the cost on this uh, was <coughs> it was right about 200 bucks, and I didn't realize how good I did until uh, till just today. I needed one more two by four, and I went into Lowe's to buy a two by four, and that sucker cost me like uh, like uh, almost six bucks. Well, after tax, it was about six bucks, I guess. Uh, and what I originally did is I went over to Home Depot. And I don't know if your Home Depot is like mine, but uh, they, they, they've got a huge stack of 2x4s right there in the front as you walk in. And they're the ugliest 2x4s you've ever seen. It took me about half an hour just to uh, uh, pull all the 2x4s out just to find the decent ones. But the price on them was about $4.40. So uh, I saved myself quite a bit of money by spending the extra time going over to Home Depot and pulling out the, the best boards I could find. And uh, the rest of it was uh, was uh, decking screws. Now this, those those uh, decking screws that I use are, are from Lowe's. Those those are the ones I recommend. They're the they're the good strong screws that, that you can count on. And uh, I've I've used these over and over again. I've had them sitting on uh, used on projects where I've took them out and reused them somewhere else years later. So they make some good decking screws. Now uh, other than that, uh, that's that's pretty much how it's all put together. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but if I didn't, I'll go over it again. Now, on, the, on these decking screws here, these uh, 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 there's two sizes you can use to go through a 2 by 4 to, to uh, secure a panel. And the 2 and the eighth will work, and the 2 and a half. The only thing is, is the 2 and a half comes real close to hitting the back of the, uh, the, back of the panel. And if you didn't have a washer behind it like I did here, it would drive right through the wood into the panel and probably bust your glass up. So you got to be careful about that. But the reason why I chose the two and a half is, is because the two and a half is is a thicker gauge screw than the two and a cool, or two and an eighth is. So that's the reason why I use those. And I've got uh, one of those screws in each corner there, uh, and with all those panels there, that uh, uh, that gives you a pretty good side to side side to side stability. So that's that sucker, it's gonna take it's gonna take a tornado or a hurricane or something like that to tear this motherfucker down. 
So there you have it. Uh, I just the only thing I got left to do is I got to get some zip ties and clean up this wire in here and tidy it up a bit. And uh, my uh, original conduit that I laid down well before I started on this came out right to here, which isn't where I where I needed it. So I had to pull it up out of the ground, and I'm going to have to dig another trench and reroute it over over to there where I need it at. Other than that, that's it right there. Uh, uh, it's, it came out pretty good. I'm happy with it, and I don't think I'll have any trouble with it. So uh, there you go. Hope you like it, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.